humanoid robots have been making waves in the technology space recently. They have been featured in nearly every keynote speech, showcased in demo reels, and discussed at conferences focused on the future of work. But even with all the buzz, these robots have not yet become a regular part of everyday life. Their flexibility is still not equal to human capabilities, and issues like reliability and affordability remain unsolved. That helps explain why the dream of owning a helpful robot at home still hasn't convinced most people, especially when the expected price ranges anywhere between 50,000 and 200,000 United States dollars once available to the public. On top of that, trust remains a big concern for many. But then came a major turning point, Tesla unveiled the design of Optimus Generation 3, which Elon Musk has described as the most important product Tesla has ever built. And just to be clear, the Tesla bot recently seen working at the Tesla diner is not Generation 3. During the second quarter earnings call for the year 2025, Elon clarified that it is actually version 2.5. So, the bot currently in action is a refined version 2, not the latest model. Elon expressed strong confidence about Generation 3, calling it a beautiful design and predicting it will be Tesla's biggest product by far. Before we dive into everything, a big thank you to our wonderful community for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. We are just getting started. If you are new here, welcome to Amp Drive, your go to space for everything about Tesla robots, electric vehicles, and the future of automation. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what comes next. According to official statements, Tesla Optimus Generation 3 will begin full scale production in the fourth quarter of 2025. Pre orders are expected to start around October. There will be two options, a standard version priced at US$15,989 and a higher-end model with full capabilities. The final price of the premium unit will depend on how many specialized tasks and custom features the buyer selects. So, what can you actually expect from the US$15,989 Tesla bot? What enhancements have been made, and where might there be trade-offs? Most importantly, does this robot truly manage to find the sweet spot between affordability and useful performance? Currently, many Optimus prototypes are already being used inside Tesla's Gigafactories. These robots are busy moving cables, organizing battery parts, and doing other repetitive tasks. That alone is proof that Tesla still leads the race in humanoid robotics. Few companies are anywhere near Tesla's level in terms of development. One big reason Tesla is ahead is its progress in artificial intelligence training and the creation of custom actuators. These two innovations allow the Tesla bot to move more like a human and understand tasks more deeply. However, prices of critical parts like high-end graphics processing units and advanced motors have gone up. Elon Musk's AI firm, XAI, is currently working to raise an additional US$12 billion United States dollars to purchase more of these essential processing units. This comes after a massive deal last December where they bought units priced around US$200,000 each. Just one H100 graphics card can now cost over US$40,000 on unofficial markets. These cards are the core of Optimus Neural Systems. So yes, between the rising prices of chips, servos, and control boards, building a robot has become much more expensive. In fact, during bidding wars, costs have doubled even before a robot is built. This brings us to the big question everyone is asking, how can Tesla possibly offer a robot like Optimus Generation 3 for just US$15,989? During the same earnings call, Elon Musk addressed this question. He said they are aiming to make around 5,000 units of the robot initially. They might even have the parts to build 10,000 or maybe even 12,000. But since this is a brand new product, where everything from the frame to the code is entirely fresh, Elon said it would still be a win if they managed to build even half of the intended batch. If Tesla manages to stick to the schedule and bring these robots to life as planned while continuing to reduce production costs, Optimus could become a historic achievement in robotics. Just like lithium-ion batteries made electric cars a practical reality, Optimus has the potential to turn humanoid robots into something ordinary and helpful in day-to-day -day life.
If our guesses are correct, Elon Musk may officially reveal Optimus Generation 3 at Tesla's biggest event of the year, the 2025 shareholders meeting scheduled for November. It would be the perfect stage, especially since Elon hinted that a few Optimus robots might even appear live on stage. They could do something entertaining like carry a microphone or perform a short dance routine. What is more certain is that the robot is set to launch by the end of this year, exactly two years after Generation 2 first appeared in late 2023. The design updates in Generation 3 make the robot capable of performing a wider range of actions. By improving how the robot is built, Tesla can add more joints, or what engineers call, degrees of freedom. This means Optimus becomes more flexible, better at movement, and capable of doing a broader variety of tasks. Now, while looks are not everything, people still care about design. No one wants a robot that looks like a scene from a scary movie. The Generation 3 Tesla bot will have more degrees of freedom than ever before, and that makes a big difference. It lets the robot move and act more like a real person. Optimus Generation 3 may be able to handle as many as 3,000 tasks. Elon Musk has said that this version will not just be Tesla's most widely produced product, it will also be the most complete design yet. He shared that there are no more big changes needed and that the robot's form is finally where it needs to be. What we hope to see when the robot is released are three major improvements. First, we want it to be skilled at handling detailed tasks. Second, we want it to work for long hours without problems. And third, we want to see spare parts available locally. That way, if something breaks, you won't need to send the whole robot back to Tesla's factory in Fremont. Elon also said that one of the biggest benefits of making 5,000 robots is that Tesla will have to create a system for selling affordable replacement parts. Things like a wrist motor or a visual sensor should cost no more than a car part from a Tesla Model 3. Mass production also forces Tesla to improve the software and safety features that let the robot operate safely in real homes and workplaces, not just in polished demos. The exciting part. Once the hardware is in good shape, Tesla can just send software updates over the air. These updates can teach Optimus how to grab a new tool or perform a task better, no physical repairs needed. This makes Musk's statement that Generation 3 is, the one to keep, feel even more important. There may not be a Generation 4 for a while because Generation 3 already checks all the essential boxes. On the technical side, Musk shared that every single part of Optimus has been redesigned based on the basics of physics. The Generation 3 version looks completely different compared to version 2.5. Leaks suggest the new version will include a front-facing screen and support voice communication using Grok, an AI developed by XAI. The screen can show the robot's current status or any information requested by the user. In simple terms, it's like placing a smart tablet right on the robot's head. The head of the robot is a compact part, designed to resemble a human head while still looking clean. Two important pieces of hardware, the fast camera and the voice recognition mic, are placed here. This makes it possible for Optimus to follow commands almost 10 times faster compared to if these systems were placed separately. Walking speed still remains a challenge, though. The company has not yet reached the 8 km per hour goal. It is still unknown how Tesla will improve the torso, but ideas include using lighter materials or changing how the inner joints are placed. Elon did say the new design will be impressive and could be shared later this year. Engineers say the torso should make up about 40% of the robot's total height, or around 24 inches. That space is perfect for important components like the 2.3 kWh battery and other internal parts. Placing the battery in the torso helps balance the robot and lowers the chance of it getting damaged if it falls. Demo videos already show the bot walking upstairs, going downhill, and walking over uneven surfaces without tipping over. That proves the new design really works. Now, what is the main purpose of the Tesla bot Generation 3? The short answer, everything. Optimus is learning more every single day. Tesla is investing heavily in training the robot to understand and perform tasks just by watching videos. It can watch content on television or online, learn the task, and repeat it. 
things like cooking, cleaning, folding laundry, or even mowing the lawn are within reach. This learning method opens huge doors. You can just tell Optimus to pick up a cup or fold a shirt, and soon, it will know how to do it. The real power of this is that the robot can act on that knowledge using real hands and motion. A regular artificial intelligence might tell you how to fix something, but it will not do it for you. Optimus will. Most other companies focus on showing robots that can run, jump, or talk in complex ways. Tesla, however, is putting over half its engineering efforts into one thing, the hands. Elon Musk has explained again and again that hands are the biggest challenge. Hands are where most human intelligence is shown. That is why early humans were able to build and survive even without smart tools. Hands made all the difference. Because of that belief, Tesla has made the hands the center of its design. Optimus will have hands with 22 degrees of freedom, almost as flexible as real human hands, which have 27. That makes this the first humanoid robot with such realistic hands. Initially, many thought Tesla would only use Optimus inside its own factories. But Musk has confirmed that starting in 2025, Tesla will deploy a limited number of robots for consumer use. Manufacturing, Musk believes, will be built around machines. Tesla factories already use robotic arms, huge presses, and painting tools. But these tools can only do one job each and are fixed in place. Optimus is different. It is mobile, flexible, and can adapt to new jobs. In the most recent demo, the robot walked through a real factory filled with people and equipment. It managed to map out the area, recognize tools and humans, and decide how to move, all on its own. There is currently a worker shortage of over 300,000 in manufacturing and nearly 700,000 in logistics. With modern artificial intelligence, robots can finally start to fill those roles in a useful way. Elon Musk says Optimus might one day be the most valuable product Tesla ever makes. He sees global demand for humanoid robots reaching 10 to 20 billion units. If that prediction comes true, Tesla could become the top robotics company in the world. Investors are already paying attention. Experts believe this industry will be worth US$38 billion by the year 2035. Companies from every continent are trying to get into the game. What makes Tesla stand out is how it builds everything in-house. The motors, the actuators, the electronics, even the battery, everything is made by Tesla teams. This deep control over the process gives Tesla a huge lead. Elon Musk claims this is what allows them to offer the Tesla bot for a cost as low as US$10,000. Tesla's progress on Optimus is hard to ignore. If things continue at this pace, the day may come when we have robots that help with school, take care of kids, walk pets, do chores, or just keep us company. As more units are made and prices come down, this dream could be a reality for many people. Of course, scaling up production will bring its own challenges. Musk knows that complicated designs, like what happened with the Cybertruck, can slow things down. Avoiding those mistakes will be critical. But if Tesla gets it right, the world of robotics is about to change forever. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and being part of the Amp Drive family. We have more amazing content coming soon, so please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share it with anyone interested in the future of technology. Until next time, take care and stay curious.